Hey guys, so in this one we're going to be talking about global versus local variable scope. And what is that? So basically, the scope of a variable is where the variable can be accessed from within the program. So let's just show in Python, that's probably the easiest way to explain it. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new file and save it. I'm going to call this one scope. And I'm going to just define some sort of variable, let's say x equals uh, John, just because it's my middle name. Um, define a function, and just to sort of illustrate this point, I'm just going to say, um, I don't know, scope. <laughs> um, so this is just a basic function. If you if you don't know what I'm doing by defining functions, you can go and watch the video on functions that I've done uh, just recently, and that'll sort of explain what a function is and and you know how to use it in Python. So let's just go ahead and try to print the variable x. So let's see if we can access that variable within the function. And I'm just going to call scope so that it runs when I run the program and save and run. So this one does print the variable x in this case, but what if you wanted to say, well actually x is uh, actually equal to max. And then we can print that, save and run. Um, but now we get an error, and it says an unbound local error, and this is because the local variable x is referenced before assignment. So what does that mean? Well, basically, this is a local variable, and it can be accessed within a function, but it can't be changed. So there's a few ways that you can get around this, but that's, that's one key thing that a lot of people sort of have a misunderstanding of, is they think just because you can access it, you can also change it, but Notice here, it didn't even execute this first print statement. And, you know, people get confused because it was executing fine before, but now now that, it's, now that we've put in this statement of redefining x, it's, it's thrown an error. And the reason for that is that it's not a global variable. So, the problem is that it isn't allowed to change that variable effectively. So, there's a couple of ways you can get around this you could either pass the variable x in as a parameter and you could say x like this and you could run that and then that works or you could uh, say because we can access the variable x we can create another variable and say uh, the new x is equal to x for example so the new x variable is a local variable, so that means it only exists within this function because it's got a local scope. And this new x we can change, so because we've just defined it like any other variable. And so we could say uh, new x equals x, and then we print new x here. Just get rid of that and this should work as well. So this prints the, uh, the the new sort of assignment that we've changed it to, which is fine. In fact, we, d we don't even need this line because that doesn't really illustrate my point very well. Um, so that, that now prints the, the, the data that was sort of assigned outside the function, which is good. Uh, so another way you could do that is instead of having to define this another variable, because now in this program we've got two variables and we don't necessarily need to have two variables because we just want one variable for the name. So another way you could do that, if we just say print x here, we could say, if we get rid of this, uh, we could just make x a global variable. So we can do that by typing global uh, x. And all that's going to do is say, actually, we do want to make x a global variable rather than a local variable. So that's another way that you can get the program to work. Uh, one problem with uh, saying global, uh, if you work in large scale applications or if you work, start working for a company as a Python developer, a lot of uh, people in the industry don't necessarily like you to use global variables 
you know, very much because it can be sort of a bad programming practice. So, you know, what is generally preferred is if you were to, you know, pass in a parameter, uh, like I showed you earlier, uh, that works really well. And that's that's really more of a preferred way of doing it. But I just wanted to show you all the ways that I could think of to sort of go about this problem, just so that you know sort of all the different ways that you can do, so that you can make an informed decision as to which one you want to use when you want to use it. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one where we're going to be talking about uh, tuples in Python.